everybody, welcome back to the Golden Goblet. Day three, Super Mega Baseball three. Day one, we won 3-0. Day two, we won 13-1. Much better. Today we are the Bee Wolves playing against the Herbosaurs. Let's let's get and we're the home team today. Bee Wolves. Balanced versus the Herbosaurs. Extreme defensive experts. <laughs> it's a five inning game, just send it. Um Anybody else surprised that three days in, Dan did not pick a team for us to play that is like extreme power hitters? You think that would have, like for me, I thought that would have been his first pick. So Hurley Bender, I'm looking, his junk stats are out of control. I think one thing I could work on is taking, um, making more use of my bullpen. You know, there, I, we kind of lost the last game. Well, we didn't lose, but we... Uh, let in more runs. Well, we let in a run in the in the fifth inning, which is our last inning here. Um, we let in a run that we shouldn't have let in, just due to sloppy uh, load management, for lack of a better word. Look at that. Oh, I'm calling it right now. This is a six strikeout game. Might not seem that impressive, but six strikeouts in five innings. It's pretty good. You're lucky, brother. You're lucky. Oh, now we got him right where we want him. What do you do? Throw him some junk. Cut fastball outside. How about a two-seamer in on the hands? Just wanted to see if he'd bite. And then we'll give him a curve that goes low into the strike zone. We're not going to catch it. No, no need to dive for that one. When you dive, you do risk injury. Oh! Let's go! He really thought he had one. He thought he did something special there. No, thank you, sir. I don't, I'll admit I don't know who our first baseman is. By the way, you might be saying, boy, there's sure a lot of bat breakings in Super Mega Baseball 3. I don't think it's the game. I think it's that I'm such a good pitcher that my pitches just shatter the hardest woods Louisville Slugger has ever sourced. Oh, it was so close, too. Anyway, yeah, you don't want to dive willy-nilly because you can risk injury. I don't think this could even make it. Yo, it's a Korean baseball stadium. I just noticed. Giban service. I don't know. It's something service. I don't know what Giban means, to be honest. And then the other sign on the left there. Oh, Seoul Banchan. Banchan are like the side dishes you get at Korean restaurants. You know, like kimchi. You know, a, a cold soy sauce potato, which sounds bad, but it's actually delicious. Okay, here we go. High pitch. Billy LeBoink, he loves a high pitch. Well, let's look at our pitcher, Tusker Fuss. High velocity. He, he seems just like a balanced pitcher. That's a good pitch, but it's not in my, it's not in my wheelhouse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. Again, a good pitch, not in my wheelhouse. Go ahead, work the count. Bust your arm. I, so that was not great, I'll admit. But I know what I want. I know what I want when I, when I step up to the plate, which is, uh, that matters to me. That's a good pitch. It wasn't for me, but that's a good pitch. I'm going to make you pitch my pitch. That's more my pitch. Let's go, boys. All right. So we got a man on base. Now we take a second. You know what? We got a speed demon <laughs> against uh, against a great catcher. The catcher's got an incredible arm. But Colby Kingman with the power shot. Oh, 87 power. That would have been a heck of a shot. That would have been a heck of a shot. That's right through the gap. No, that's a person. They blended in with the grass. All right, Buster Biggs. Come on. I'm not, I don't even know how to lead off. I steal from no lead off. That's just an insulting pitch. You trying to hurt me? It's an exhibition game. Also embarrassing. We're going to bleed this pitcher dry. I chose. Is, are you, your name's really Yakety Sacks? I don't think we were making third on that one, so I, I can live with this. You know, it's an incremental game. We got a contact hitter. Gina Torrens. I recognize the name. Nah, nah. You pitch out? You pitch out to Gina? You're in. I honestly thought you might intentionally walk her. Look at that. Okay, Gina. She's an RBI dynamo. 
Derek Jeter over here, knocking him in. All right, Magic Moore. Great shot, but you're too slow. You're too slow. It was honestly a, a pretty good attempt, brother. I can't give you too much disrespect for that. At least we put one run up on the board. I mean, really, like, there's an indignity in losing the, the Golden Goblet. Fair ball? Oh, that's because I touched it. <laughs> All right. There's an indignity in losing to Mouth or Dan. Not because they're bad, but just because, you know, you want to win. But there's a much greater indignity in losing to the AI. I will admit, you could lose to the AI and still win a round of the Golden Goblet. Let's go. That's two. <laughs> if, if everybody else just loses worse, then that would do it for you. But on the other hand, of course, we don't want to do that. You know, we'd much rather... Oh, that's three, baby! We'd much rather just pile on the runs. First inning wasn't great, but we also did get no runs in our first two innings last time. So I'm not going to sweat it too much. You, you don't trust that pitch. You trust that pitch, though? All right. Well, can't really say I agree with your uh, methodology there. We got Bertha Banks. Oh. That, I see, I see my pitch, I take it. I'm a simple man. I see my pitch, I take it. I'm going to be honest. This went wrong. We're done. We're done. We're tagged. I honestly, I didn't expect Bertha Banks to be the world's slowest uh, base runner. That, that felt good to me, but I didn't take it. I'm just looking at this man, and I'm like, you have the audacity to be large, but not a power hitter? That's not Super Nintendo baseball rules. Okay, so we're getting ourselves back. This is a pitcher. As always, our pitcher has uh, hit a fly out to left field. <laughs> oh, and the pitcher's mojo went up. Son of a gun. All right, you like a high pitch. Well, you didn't get a high pitch. That was not a good inning for us. It's tough, though, because, like, any time you make good contact, you do feel like... It's not a dice roll, don't get me wrong. But when you get your pitch and you smack it, and it ends up being like a line out to third base, you know, that's baseball. Even the best hitters in baseball, you know, they hit around, I don't know, just over 30% of the time. Fooled them. Fooled them. And then let's see. You want this junk? Oh, how about this junk? You want this junk? Oh, let's go. Morden Stanberg. I can't believe we already got four strikeouts on this guy. By the way, if you're ever wondering how many strikeouts you got, if you look at the pitcher's indicator on the right side there, 2.2 IP is innings pitched. We pitched almost three innings. Oh, I really thought you just grabbed that. Um, he's not going. He's not going. Uh, and then we've probably thrown like 28 pitches or something. Oh, two hits is what it says after that. And then um, the K is the strikeout count. If you're watching this and you're like, everybody knows that. Clearly you have never spoken to a European person. Oh, come on. About the rules of baseball. And that you might think that's a knock about, you know, it's a joke at a European expense. It's not the case. The rules of baseball, you know, in North America... We kind of take them as self-evident sometimes, but they're really not. They're kind of like, you know, there's a lot of... it. The prince of... That's five strikeouts, by the way. The principle of it is pretty simple, but the, the minutia is a little complicated. Okay, so that, I thought that was a strike, honestly. But we're just waiting for our pitch. We got to make this pitcher work harder. That was kind of our pitch. We pulled it in a big way. That's not my pitch. Is it a little too close on the corners? Oh, to get caught looking. To get caught looking hurts. All right, Kobe. Kingman. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Now you're doing mouth swings. That's not our pitch. That's clearly not our pitch. Also not our pitch. We just want him to know we're not an easy out. You got it. That's fine. We at least, instead of making him pitch 
three times. We made him pitch seven times. Get him a little rattled. Another another bad inning. What can I say? These guys are defensive specialists. They're 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 doing their part. Great curve. Now I'll level with you. Is the top of the fourth already? Oh my god. We're like this video is going to be so much shorter than yesterday's. It's a, it's a defensive battle. This pitcher is not long for this world. He's he's done great for us. Well, he's done okay for us. <laughs> oh, beat him at the bag. I'd love to see the instant replay there. He's locked in, but he's starting to lose his uh, he's starting to lose his edge, you know. Great catch, I will say. The fact that the first homer in the series for me was almost against was uh, I mean, especially when we're only up 1-0. It's not a great look, right? But uh, this is our inning. So this this inning, we're going to break this pitcher over our knee. Get ready. Felt that one. Felt that one in a huge way. Gina's fast enough to make it. That's not a problem. She's in there. All right. Great start. That's not Gina. That's M. Stewart. <laughs> the center fielder. It's not bad, but it's not my pitch. Much more likely to be my pitch. You got to say, like, it, it took great fielding to stop that. And that's what they got. Go, 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 go. You can make it. You can make it. Oh, no! The greed. The greed on display. Okay, like, this is our last at bat because we're the home team. Oh, you got, you got hit by a dead zone there. So we really, like, this is an important moment. He's an RBI dud. I got to be honest. You're getting substituted. This is, like, is a huge moment for us. You need to get substituted with a big hitter. Steve Monster? That seems perfect. Extra power against a right-handed pitcher. You gave me my pitch right off the bat, but it was off speed. I think... I think we're going to have to settle for this maybe being a 1-0. Which is kind of staggering to me. So if you'll do me a favor. We're going to substitute uh, Smack Avery in. Our closing pitcher. He's got a, he's got a nasty curve. And a four seam fastball. But he, he's probably only good for like 15 pitches. So <laughs> be careful. Throw, throw him a lot of stuff that's borderline. Grace, uh, now, now beat him down with the fastball. Oh, come on. You know you want it. Beat him down with the fastball. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Another strikeout. Look, this is, if you don't like defensive baseball, then don't pick... The Herbosaurs is your team to go up against. You know, they, you see the fielding they brought out against me? Now you break out the fastball. Oh, baby! This just goes to show you. I can play two different kinds of games, you know? You need me to be your... Uh, you, you need me to have a 13-1 to slugfest? I can do it. You need me to win a 1-0 defensive showdown? Not a problem for me. The B Wolves win 1 0. We got seven hits, one run, which is. We, we screwed up a lot on the base running, to be honest. Um, but a relatively decent uh, pitching performance for sure. Um, not a great score of one, but it is what it is. I thought we, we, we won our game, we ground them out. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Of course, if you watched 14 minutes of it, I'm going to assume you enjoyed it. It's like half the length of yesterday's, but that's because our bats didn't get as active. So I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, go check out Mouth and Dan's perspectives to see how they did and go to goldengobble.net to see how we're all doing. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!